In this video, we are going to look at how we can exploit a mass assignment vulnerability to buy any product for free. So let's access this lab. And let me turn on my web proxy. Let's log in with Weiner and Peter. Okay, so going back to the home page and I'm going to add this product in my cart to capture all the requests. And in the cart, we can see that we can order this product. Let's try to order this and it says we don't have enough credits for this purchase. Okay, let's go back to the perp suite and analyze the HTTP history. Over here, we are going to look at endpoint that has API in it. So if I scroll down there, we can see this endpoint slash API slash checkout. So I'm going to send this to repeater. And there are two requests. First is a get and second is post. So this post request has a body over here. Chosen products and there we have product ID and quantity. Okay, I'm going to send this to repeater as well. Send this request and in the response, it says insufficient funds because we don't have enough creds. Now, how we can exploit this? Okay, let's try to send the request, the get request as well. So this API endpoint is basically fetching the details of the product. And here we can see the product ID, name, quantity, price of the item, and the chosen discount with some particular percentage. Okay, so we know what are the variables that exist in the backend and what are the objects. So there are basically two objects. First is chosen discount and another is chosen products with number of variables. Maybe we can exploit this knowledge. Let's see. So what I'm going to do is copy all of this. Actually, not the whole thing. Let's just copy this thing over here okay this is the opening and close tag of this object and this is the opening and close of chosen products object and here we have the close tag Okay, let's change the percentage value to 100 so we can get 100% discount. And it says unexpected slash at line 1 column 48. Send the request again and we can see there is no error and it says order confirmation equals true. That's cool. Let's go back to the page and refresh it. And you can see it says you solved the lab. So we basically exploited this percentage variable by changing its value from zero to 100% to get a full discount on this particular product. Why this is happening in the first place? Let's open the OASP mass assignment page. And, and okay, over here. As you can see, this usually happens when the functions automatically bind client's input into code variables. So whatever input we gave in this variable, it was automatically being bind in the backend. And that's why we were able to update the value. Now to prevent this, a developer can whitelist properties that should be updated by the client and blacklist all the properties that should not be accessed by the clients and don't bind 
the client input code into variables directly. I'll give the link in the description and you can have a look at some other attack scenarios as well. Okay, that was a quick video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.